Okay, what we have here is a 4L60 transmission out of a 2000 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 four-wheel drive version. And the complaint is that there's no reverse, and we also notice there's no second or fourth gear. And as you can see here, we can spin our reaction sun shell. And as we spin it, our reaction sun shell gear will spin on its own. And if we uh, kind of pull this out of here and take a look at it, we'll see that all of our teeth are gone off of the reaction sun shell. And if we can just set this up here a minute. And I'm going to reach down in here and pull up our reaction sun shell gear. And as you can see, we can put that in there and we can easily spin that back and forth. And while we have some, uh, we've seen we have no teeth left over here. If you can see that with the camera here. They're all, it's smoothed right off. We can see we also got some damage on the uh, reaction, reaction sun shell gear itself. So we're going to, a lot. the TSB will tell you the parts that you should obtain when making this repair. And along with the parts in the TSB, I'm also going to get a, a new gear here because you can see there is some damage to that. Along with that, I'm also going to get a turbine shaft seal, which is the seal on the input shaft that goes that seals up inside the torque converter. If you don't replace that and it leaks, you're probably going to get a TCC code for torque converter slippage. So while you've got this all apart, along with flushing out the system good, you should also replace that seal. The, all the other seals and stuff are listed in the TSB along as an identification as to which uh, which reaction sun shell you should get. And that's going to be determined by this bushing here, if you got the one with the uh, four tangs that hold it in place or not. So again, the, the problem is no reverse, no second, and no fourth gear. And hopefully we replace all that and we should have a good transmission again.